Hi, my name is Shia Kelly. I'd like to welcome you to my Cisco training. In this training, I'll be demonstrating to you how to configure it channel. Now, if you look at my notes here, I said why why it channel? Why do we need to have it channel in our network? Uh, the reason why we need to have it channel is because uh, we're trying to aggregate two um, physical ports into a logical port. Okay, so that we could have uh, more bandwidth to make use of. Okay, in our infrastructure. Now, if you look at it now, if you look at um, this um, topology, you realize that um, look, looking at this, there's a, there's a spanning tree involved because uh, there are two different redundant links. And because of spanning tree, spanning tree helps us to block this link so that there won't be any form of spanning tree. Now, how do we now achieve it to channel um, with this? So one of the things about it to channel is that, like I said earlier, when it helps us to aggregate two a physical port into a logical port so which means that if this port interface 7 is um, 100 megabytes and interface 8 is 100 megabytes uh, on aggregating it we're going to have um, a 200 megabyte interface okay but that interface is going to be logical so that's the concept behind um, that's the reason why we want to have ETI channel um, okay so and another thing is that it helps us to reduce and remove both custom from redundant links now if you look at this now by the time we configure it channel it channel will help us make this uh, blocked port an active port in other words so we can transfer packets or frames from this network uh, to this network okay so uh, one of the things that it channel helps us to do is that it helps us to reduce both custom now i'm going to put all this um it channel make use of it makes use of two different protocols one of them is called BAGP and the other one is LACP BAGP means port aggregation protocol and the other one means link aggregation protocol now what those two um, um, protocol does is that number one for the BAGP protocol um, is it is proprietary to Cisco so in other words that means that if you're using BAGP BAGP has to be configured on all the two switches so that means if you're using a Cisco switch then you have to use a BG, BAGP, BAGP protocol to configure your ether channel and if you're using another protocol if you're using another switch from other protocols then you have to use LECP so um, with ether channel, ether channel does not work this doesn't do inter um, doesn't work with um, different protocols in other words what I'm saying is that if switch A if this switch is a Cisco switch and this other switch is a is an industry for another vendor then you have to use LACP okay because they must be on the same protocol so if I'm using Cisco switch here and I'm using another Cisco switch here then the, the, both of them need to be using the same they have to be on the same mode using EI, um, L, P, P, A, G, P. okay so that's one thing we need to remember the other thing is that BAGP helps us to um, we can we can move um, VLANs from this trunk, from this port, from this um, switch to this other switch. So BAGP helps us do a couple of uh, a couple of things, but the most important thing is that BAGP um, is used for proprietary and um, EIG and um, LACP is used for um, other vendors. Now, like I said, it could be used in three modes. Now, for BAGP, you could either be on, it could either be in auto, and it could it could also be in desirable. Now, when we say on, it means that you're, you're mandating that you're using a PAGP protocol. So that means that if the other vendor on the other side is also a Cisco switch, then automatically what you're telling this particular switch is that I want you to operate with the BHB protocol. That means I don't want to negotiate with anything. If it's not a BHB protocol, then don't create any form of, um, don't create any form of, um, don't even begin the process of it's a channel don't form a, a channel group okay you must be in the same protocol so that's what i mean so if i say auto that means that i'm open for negotiation okay i'm open for negotiation i can i can i can i can relate with other protocols um, that is not i can i'm giving you an opportunity okay i could either be on own or i could either be in desirable then if i say desirable that means i'm making myself um um, BAGP, but I'm also asking that the other, I'm also desiring that the other person, the other switch, okay, come join me so that we could form a channel group, okay. So, but so that that's for that on BAGP. Then for LACP, LACP means passive. I could either use a passive or an active mode. Now for passive means that I'm definitely on, 
um, LACP I, I don't want to change that's what I am on at the moment and I don't want to change so um, so if I'm if I'm trying to negotiate with other person that person too is either the person too is on LACP okay but I am not going to change my states okay so if if I'm using let's say I'm using BAGP here and this BAGP is on on and this I'm using um, and on the second switch it's on active mode so active mode means that I'm also I want to make a negotiation for somebody for another switch that is that is um, that desires to form a channel group with me but should be on LACP okay so that that's that on on, on those two things so and before we start our configuration the port the, these are the things that we need to always remember number one the interface to be used should share the same configuration so that means that my interface on port 7 and 8 on this switch must have the same configuration okay i must they must be on the same speed they must be on the same vlan they must have the same bandwidth everything about both of them must be the same likewise the other my other interface here every configuration i have on my interface 7 must be the same with my interface 8 now the channel group doesn't have to be the same on the switches involved so that means that on this switch i'm going to use a channel group because that's the word the config that's the command i'm going to use to create an inter channel then the channel group on switch a should not can is not necessarily does not necessarily have to be the same on switch b that means that if i'm using channel group one here i don't have to use one here. i could use two here so that doesn't mean that i won't be able to create an inter channel now the inter channel port is also a port okay so but it's also a port which is a logical port on the switch i can perform all switch all switch port activity so that means that on this switch if when i create my logical switch when i create my ether channel it also becomes a logical port so it's going to become a logical port something that it's going to become another port but it's going to be logical so that means it can perform the same um, function that every other port can perform i could i can ping the port i can shut down the port now it becomes an interface on my switch but it's logical okay i can perform trunking on that interface i could do a couple of things that every normal physical switch could do then it also says that the ether channel protocol should be the same on both switches okay i think i've mentioned that so that means that on this switch i'm if i'm using um, BAGP, PAGP, then I must be using PAGP here. If I'm using LACP, I must be using LACP here. Okay, so enough about the theory. Let's let's dive into it and let's let's quickly create uh, our port channel on both sides. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is that we do a show run. Okay, to look at what we have on our switch. Okay, so I do a show run. So I'm using port 7 and 8. So I see that on this port 7 and 8, there, there are no major configurations. So actually, they are, they are on the same page. Okay, they're actually on the same page. They're on the same page. So what I need to do is that I need to create a channel. I need to add them to uh, a single channel. So what I need to do first, I do my conf T. Then I go into my interface range. Okay, because I want to use those two um, interfaces. So I do interface range FA0 slash 7 um, to 8. Okay, so I put them in the same channel. So I do channel, I do channel group, I do channel group. So it's asking me the, the number of channel groups I could have is from, from the range of 1 to 6. So I choose one here. Okay, so I choose one and I do enter. Um, okay, so it's asking me for my mode. Okay, mode channel group one mode. Um, so this is where I can either choose um, the mode I actually want to do, use. Okay, so for me, I want to use um, BAGP, so I'll use on. Okay, enable at the channel only. So what I'm saying is, if I'm using on, that means I'm enabling I'm enabling BAGP only. Okay, so I do uh, PAGP, I do on, so it's on PAGP only okay so you see that this is up now the seven the interface first time seven and eight is up and also my port channel becomes my port channel interface is also up so i have my interface now so i do exit so if i do my do show ip interface brief so i have my port channel now as an interface okay which is up now okay so i do exit i go back to my second switch Okay, you see now that it's actually negotiating. See so that the, the the green light both is now both of them are now both of them have turned green. Okay, or like before when you have this port as blocked port because of spanning tree. Okay, so I'm going to my other switch now. 
I also do the same thing show one to check the configuration 7 and 8 as I can see 7 and 8 they don't have they have the same configuration so what I do is I do my conf t okay so I do so I do my interface range ensure that both of them are on the same page 7 to 8 okay so I do my channel I do my channel group channel groups I'm, I'm using group 2 here okay remember I said that they, they don't have to necessarily be on the same group so group I do mode I do mode mode on okay which means that I'm using the same um, I'm using the same um, protocol so I'm using PHP2 okay so you see that is the, the they're now both up now so if I do my exit and I do interface and I do my do show interface um, port the interface um, do show IP interface brief interface brief okay you see that i have my interface up now so i can actually so even on this interface i can send an ip address on this interface so if i do so going into my interface if i do interface port port channel 2 okay i'm in the interface now if i do ip address okay i can add ip address to it okay so so that my interface is up now so both of them are up so what i want to do is i want to turn this interface into a strong port so i do switch mode switch mode um trunk switch mode trunk oh switch port mode sorry switch port mode trunk okay so i've chunked the port now so the port is now performing a trunk function um so i do my exit so if i do in do if i check um the in my trunk interface now if i do, do show interface trunk you see that's performing my trunk functionality okay so it's passed i've already created um vlans i created the vlan on my first um switch okay so that's the reason why i have vlan 1 to um, 30. so if i go back to this other switch now and I ensure that this switch is also turned to a chunk port. So I do my conf T. Um, I do my interface port. Uh, port channel 1. Okay. So I do my switch port mode. Um, switch port mode chunk. So it's, oh, sorry, I didn't spell it wrong. Switch port mode chunk. So it has already it has turned to a chunk port now. So if I do my do show interface um chunk, okay. So you can see now that I have my ports that have been chunk port one, two, three, and thirty. So um so one last thing we need to know is that okay, how do I verify my configuration? So I do show um do show ether channel ether channel summary. That's the best command we could use. Okay, so this shows us that port one. It's showing passive passive now passive 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 means that is in use okay p is in port channel so that means that these two interfaces interface f 7 f 8 are in port um, are in port channel s means capital s means is a layer is in layer two u means is in use so that means that we're good and we're fine if you can see this command here that means we're good and we're fine so if you go back to a second switch and i do the same thing here I do my end and I do show it a channel summary okay so it shows us the same thing so so these parts they are fine and they're doing good so um, I, I hope I've been able to show you how you could um, configure your it channel okay and I hope this video is very informative to you and I also want to thank you for viewing have a nice day